Ramesh bhai, my crop yield has been steadily going down over the last two years. Vinayak bhai, the same is happening with me. Even after spending so much money on pesticides, I am still not able to break even. What happened to those days of excess crops? Those days are gone, my friends. By the way, what has happened? We are in big trouble. Our crops harvest quantity and quality have deteriorated even with newer pesticides and seeds. Hmm. The reasons your harvests have been ruined is because of the extensive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides and unsustainable practices. What? How is that possible? Let me tell you how your current practices are harming the soil rather than helping it. Cultivating the same crop for years affects soil health, depletes nutrients, reduces organic matter in the soil and can cause significant topsoil erosion. Overuse of synthetic fertilizers decreases the soil's fertility and biodiversity affecting the soil microbes. Using harmful pesticides affects pollinators such as bees and butterflies, disturbing pest predator balance. It seems like we are stuck in a never-ending nightmare. Not yet, my fellow farmers. There is still hope. What hope? Follow me. Do you know about sustainable agriculture? What is that? Sustainable agriculture is the answer to reversing trends that leads to biodiversity loss, damaged ecosystems and degradation of our natural resources. So how does it help us? Sustainable agriculture includes integrated pest and nutrient management, organic farming, regenerating agriculture, natural farming, agroecological practices, soil and water conservation practices, agroforestry, crop rotation and intercropping, using cover crops and mulching, adopting integrated farming systems, etc. How do you know all this? I was introduced to sustainable farming by Develop Private Public Partnership Program initiated by AVT McCormick and GIZ. One of the key principles of sustainable agriculture is maintaining soil health and biodiversity management about which I shall tell you. So how can one manage soil health and biodiversity? Come, I will show you. We must make smart land use choices like practicing crop rotation, crop diversification, intercropping, border crops and multi-cropping which helps in reducing both runoff and erosion and helps maintain soil nutrients. Healthy soil functions as a living dynamic system that provides a variety of ecosystem services but disturbing the soil also disturbs the work of vital microorganisms below the soil. Sustainable agricultural strategies are targeted to increase soil organic matter and reduce erosion through improvements in plant diversity and conservational tillage. Okay, but tell me this, how can we convert to sustainable agriculture and work on soil and biodiversity in our farms? Listen carefully. Crop rotation with legumes provides the most nitrogen for sustainable agriculture systems. Conservation tillage practices that is no tillage or reduced tillage can increase soil microbial activities, soil moisture, organic matter, aggregate stability and crop yield. Soil organic carbon that is SOC is extremely important for agriculture. Well decomposed manure is very important to enhance soil organic carbon. Organic matter is the source of food for the microorganisms that help increase the porosity and aeration of soils. The soil's moisture holding capacity goes up with higher carbon levels, reducing water runoff. So we now understand what is sustainable agriculture and now is the time to start practicing. Always remember, sustainable agriculture based on diversity and land use also attract and sustains a variety of pollinators like the honeybee, butterflies, birds and natural pest predators such as ladybird beetles saving the farmer money on insecticides. With farmers adopting practices good for their farms, 
they should also inform other farmers about the benefits of sustainable agriculture. Healthy soil equals to enhanced biodiversity, healthy farms and more happy farmers.